Like, there's no fun in, if you're a guy like Jimmy Fallon, there's no fun on like commenting on Rihanna's or Instagram like, yeah, posts. Yeah. It's like, who cares? We get it, you're friends with Rihanna or whatever. Yeah. Like, go go find the weird thing from Adelaide. The roots. Yeah. yeah. And like, you know, the weird little wine video and be like, good stuff, guys. Is this you officially <laughs> calling Jimmy Fallon out? Yeah, come on, Jimmy. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Comment below. Comment. Like and subscribe, yeah. Jimmy. Welcome to a new sort of video that we're doing on the channel. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of a semi fa I don't know, he's done some good things in the industry, but he's got this show called Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Uh, I don't have a car and I don't really like coffee, so what we're gonna do on this channel is Comedians in Bars Getting Blind. Tasting notes. Um, so essentially, what we're gonna have is three different wines. One of them's gonna be like the cheapest plonk you can buy from the local bottle shop. One of them's gonna be a little bit bougie, and there's gonna be one that's in between when you're trying to impress someone on a first date that you actually haven't got the coin to go for the bougie bottle sort of thing. We're gonna taste through them with some comedians that are in town for the fringe. Hopefully, find out that comedians don't know dick about wine. It'd be really embarrassing if they just come on and smoke the whole channel. Um, but yeah, could be fun. My first guest. That's plagiarism, bro. <laughs> I've been to uni, I know plagiarism. I've done a lot of plagiarism, I know what it is. This week, a man, uh, who needs no introduction? If you read his bio, on his, if you read the bio on his, um, what, management page? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Raw comedy Good. finalist, 2016, representing South Australia. I think we can stop using that one, that was seven years ago. Now. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I still, <laughs> no, I still introduce myself as Henry Doyle, school captain, Marigold High School 2013, <laughs> so I'd hang on to it for a few more years. <laughs> this is Lewis Garnham. He's a stand-up comedian who's, you know, how would you say you're going, Lewis? Pretty well? Uh, yeah, I'm going well. I'm well this morning. I've had two coffees, I'm jacked up. Yeah, ready to go. I'm ready to get drunk. <laughs> ready to get drunk on a Monday. Yeah. Uh, Lewis and I do have a bit of a backstory in the sense that his mum and my mum were pregnant with us at the same time and they were best mates, so we sort of had this like forced friendship over the years. Totally, yeah. I, well, we've known each other since we were zero. Now, what do you, how do you think you're gonna go with this? I think I'm gonna, well, I was saying to you just before off air, I think I'll get three from three. That's unequivocally, I'm, I'm Obviously. very sure of that. Three from three, but then also just as an extra thing, I'll probably be able to tell you all the varietals. 20 minutes later. Remember what when, the hell? Remember 20 minutes ago when you were like, I'm gonna get all of these, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and probably the regions as well. The way that you slowly pronounce varietals <laughs> like, makes me confident. Are they called varietals? As I was saying it, you know you have that moment when you're saying a word and you're like, this might not be the word. Yeah, dude. But it is, isn't it? Yeah, varietals. yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So I'll, I'll tell you the varietals, I'll tell you the regions, I'll get three from three. My dad's a winemaker, as you know. Yes. He used to be a winemaker. Yes. So he'd be very disappointed if I don't do well in this. Look, uh, it's funny you should bring that up. So there is a bit of a theme to this week's episode because your dad was a winemaker at Langon Creek. Yep. And one of these wines is from Langon Creek. Whoa. So if you can pick the Langon Creek wine, it's in your veins. I'll definitely pick you that. You'll definitely yeah. pick that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mother's milk I probably, Yeah, I grew up drinking this stuff. Yeah. You know? it, Eight it, years old, swinging it. It really shows. <laughs> in the shed. Yeah. <laughs> um, which one do you want to start with? It's your choice. We've got coffee, we've got jug, and we've got tea. Well, it seems, I think it seems sensible to start with the coffee, you know? Start so with the, the coffee. First drink of the day. Oh. Plunge, plunge that down. See, that might affect it though. That might. If this was the cheap one, how do you know that plunging it might not make it? Maybe the reason it's cheap is because it hasn't been plunged. It hasn't been properly aerated. <laughs> yeah. through a, through and now a, it has. It's going to taste like the through a ten dollar Kmart coffee <laughs> plunge. You reckon? <laughs> when you're looking at that, what what's jumping out of the glass at you? It's quite um. It's quite. Uh, this coffee pourer sucks. We should have tested this <laughs> off air before we start. <laughs> Sorry, it's quite what? It's quite, uh, I was going to say heavy, but I'm, I'm going to change that. I'm going to say light. <laughs> I'm going to say the opposite of what I was going to say. Well, I was thought at first, you know when you do this swirly shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you sort of watch to see if it has... Um, Viscosity? Lines that oh. come down or whatever. Yeah, if it like sticks to the outside it of the glass. It sticks to the outside and it's not doing that. So I'm gonna say this is the cheap one, off the bat. Off the bat, this yeah. is the cheap boy. Yeah. On your nose, what are you getting? Cheap. 
Confidently cheap. Confidently uh, yeah. cheap. I, like, I think... I've drank a lot of cheap wine. Like, this is sort of what I drink. Yeah, you know? yeah. Is, is, I know, mate. Really. And I just, as soon as I sniffed that, I was like, that's so familiar, you know? I've spent a lockdown drinking this shit. Like, we go to Audi and get $6 bottles. And this... It, it, I'm not going to lie. I think I might agree with you. <laughs> that's a very interesting taste. Oh, I'm not so sure now. Oh, you've lost it a little bit. But no, yeah, it has to be. Because it's it's pretty weird, isn't it? It kind of just tastes like water. It does <laughs> kind of taste like, like water, water hey? <laughs> Or like water with like a little bit of cordial in it, but like it's, you know, one of those, you know, when you have a cordial at your friend's house and they don't make it as strong as yeah, you do, yeah, and yeah. you're like, what the fuck is well, like, this? You went, like that. you went to a public school growing up, like when you used to go to like primary school camps or whatever, and they'd make Milo with 50-50 water to milk totally, rather yeah. than full milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not fuck? tricking yeah. anyone with that <laughs> shit if you're watching and you're Stinked. a primary school teacher. Yeah. <laughs> It does taste a lot like water. It's got a bit of tannin, like, so, like, inside of your lip and shit, getting a little bit, like, if you, like, swish it around your mouth. Yeah, yeah. It'll be, like, so that's indicating... If this is, if this is the bougie one, I mean, that's just extremely disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> like, no offence to the... Do you, do you say the winemaker's name? Oh, like, we will eventually, I but I know the expensive ones from France, so they're probably not watching. Yeah, well, bad luck. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's sorry. Rather, <laughs> this is the French one, that's... Really? Nah, I'm I'm 99% sure it's the cheap one. Alright. Yeah. I'll tell you a story. My brother worked at a winery in South Australia as well. Oh yeah. Brother worked at this winery, just did like a vintage. Sick. Not on the same scale as not fucking making wines. Just no, like just like scrubbing tanks. And, yeah. yeah, being a seller hand. And he, um, one night, like you do these late shifts and he was working at like two in the morning and he's the only one in this ba massive thing. Yeah, like wine hall or yeah, whatever yeah. they yeah. called. Yeah. And you know, you're, you're up on those like rail like, and you're Cat walking walks. along yeah yeah yep. yeah and he's on one of those and there's the huge vats of wine yeah. or whatever and he, you open it up and you have to put like a little bit of this chemical in it this yeah. certain chemical and he just sort of estimated yeah it just went, <laughs> seems about right he's like, yeah that seems fine and then he closed the lid on and he started walking off and he hears like this and he looks back and the there's like just wine foaming out of the sides and the lid is like trying to burst off and he like runs over and like jumps on the lid and he's like pressing it down <laughs> he reckons it was like a mechanical bull like it was like, fully, like it just wanted to pop and then he's on it like this and it just goes boom and wine just goes everywhere, everywhere. and then he there was no one else around he like cleaned it up and then he just Filled up up with water. This huge vat of thing just filled it up. Just filled it up with <laughs> water. Maybe don't no put his name in this. No. Very bad. No. <laughs> but like it was a huge winery, and like so now I always think like that year, someone is like having a bottle that's like oh, this is pretty dodgy. I mean that could be that could be that could be why that this could be is the so Lord Creek one. Because <laughs> we were saying like it's quite watery, you know. <laughs> Jeez. That would make a lot of sense. It Maybe this is the watery. Sense. It's my brother's watery wine. We've gone there, so maybe we go like opposite yeah, side of the yeah, for symmetrical like reasons. Like that. Um. <laughs> have a bit of beer to cleanse the palate. You have done tastings before. Yeah. So, as you mentioned, your dad used to be a winemaker at Bleasdale. Uh, or Langhorn Creek Winery, Bleasdale. Sorry if that you don't want to be associated with this video, but you're in now. Um, and one of my favourite stories about your dad, who is by definition a character. Yeah, oh yeah. One absolutely. of the biggest characters yeah. getting around yeah. Australia. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's nothing if not unique. No, no, yeah. no, no, he's an enigma. He's, an, he's a true enigma, yeah. So he and uh, another family friend of yours, uh, they had a son around our age as well. We used to go over their house, I think Frank potentially. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Frank. So Ian and Frank are going up to the Adelaide Hills to pick up like a ton, like literally a ton of grapes. And they don't have a trailer for it. So they go to like a, you know, servo and just get one of those hireable trailers. Yeah. And on the way up to the Adelaide, chuck it on the back of the ute, no worries. On the way up to the Adelaide Hills, they're going like down a little downhill oh, section. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're just sitting in the front and they look and they're like, who's this trying to overtake us? <laughs> <laughs> it's the trailer. It's the trailer. Like zooming past them. <laughs> So that's on the way up to the winery. So obviously the, the, the coupling system's in great condition on the back of this year. So then they re-hook it up. It's a bit fucked, but like they just re-hook it up, put a ton of grapes in it, mm. and then drive back down the hill. <laughs> and your dad like unloads all the grapes, goes back to the server, and there's like some marks on the trailer. Yeah, yeah. And he just parks it there and fucks off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've got the teapot here. Yeah. Instantly, I'm getting light from that. Yeah, so am I, yeah. It smells kind of like, like paint thinner. 
Yeah, I mean, I think all wine smells a bit like paint thinner. Yeah, yeah, no, that's pretty reasonable. Or white. Yeah, white yeah. White wine's got a real sort of like acid. Totally. Yeah. So refreshing having someone on the show that actually agrees with my opinions and they're like, no, 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 that's actually <laughs> my trait, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> See, this one does have a few of those those lines that I'm talking about. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite the quite the drinker you are. Yeah, you can see them coming down. That means it's good. Yeah. What do you think? It's nice. It is quite nice. I would drink that like very quite happily. Yeah, but like you were quite happily drinking cheap wine in lockdown, so yeah, this no, now be the cheap true. wine. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, that's thrown me. That's a good point. Yeah, but you're gonna get three out of three here. Yeah, I will. Yeah. This is a Pinot Noir. I can tell you you're wrong, but like, <laughs> because I bought them, but like. What the hell, really? Yeah, yeah, so all of these. Yeah, it's a San Giovese. Huh? San Giovese. How did you get that wrong twice in a row? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm on the right track, aren't I? Like, it's obviously not like a Shiraz or a Cabernet. That's funny. It's very obvious. That's very oh funny. Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> but you don't know. Well, are they all Shirazes? I know Cabernet? that all of these wines are. Are we wrecking the game by doing this conversation? No, 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 we're not, because you don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, like, I know the three they're wines. They're not heavy enough to be a Shiraz. They're not Shiraz. No, 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 they're yeah. not. They're not Shiraz Cabernets, but, like, where I think of the wines, like, where I think of this variety is in that ballpark as opposed right. to, like, the Pinot ballpark. I, um, I used to work at a, like, a wine bar that was, like, attached to a restaurant here Sick. in Adelaide. And, um, you want to shout them out, or are they pricks? No, I don't like the new boss. So cool. Yeah, it, no. It was a great place when I was there, and then the new boss at <laughs> was a bit of a wanker. Oh, the and we had we, one time this, these three people sat down, and it, it, it felt like the boss and then two of his employees, maybe sort of thing. Yeah. Maybe lawyers had that sort of feel to it after work, and that we had two Magellas. You know that one, Magella. Nah. Anyway. But, yeah, sure. I think it's South Australian. Cool. We had like the 2014 and the 2015 one. Mm -hmm. And he said to them, when I came over, showed them the wine list, blah, blah, blah. He said to them specifically, he's like, let's get both because they're so different. They're, it's the same. It's the Magella Shiraz, but the 2014 and the 2015, it's just, they're just worlds Hot apart. vintage. Cold yeah, vintage. exactly. It's going to be, it's going to blow your mind. Totally. Yeah. So I brought them out the 2014 first. He has a, like, you pour it so he can have a taste. He tastes it. He's like, oh. Yeah, that's the 14. Makes See, it's sense. just, and he goes into full wine jargon. So yeah. you can tell from the bloody thing and the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then, yeah, they all have some oh, beautiful. Absolutely. They finish that bottle and I bring them over the 2015 and do the same thing. Have a little taste, fresh glass and everything. So yeah, you can, yeah. you know, fresh. He's like, and he tastes it and he goes, See, it's just so different. They're worlds apart, these wines. And he goes into full jargon mode again. Yeah. And I'm standing there and as he's doing that, I'm looking at the wine and I realize I've brought him the 2014 again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's already done his spiel and he wants to look good in front of his employees. And so I'm standing there and I'm just caught in this world. And I thought, what I'm going to do, like I poured them all a glass without letting anyone see the label. Yeah. And then I just thought, I'm going to snooker him because he's already, if it's, if it's the wrong one now he looks like a dickhead just yeah. as much as me if yeah. not more so i just placed the wine bottle down facing him the label facing him and i just saw him look at it and just look at me and then he just didn't say anything <laughs> and they drank the whole bottle really quickly and then he gave it back to me he looked angry but he never said anything well you can't say so anything because that's... then he's the dickhead hey yeah. look snooker is the Pretty exact right term yeah. for that. <laughs> well, well done obviously we haven't tried the third one yet but he's still pretty comfortable that this is cheap Yep. And this, so this is more expensive, but we don't yep. know where it fits in comparison to this one yet. Yeah, I, I think it's the, definitely one of the two more expensive yeah, ones. Yeah, so currently three, one or two, and this will obviously be one or one two, or two as well. Yeah. It's funny, I feel like I've already won the game. Yeah. Because, like I'm already like, I got them all right. Yeah, you figured it out. <laughs> so this one's got more of a lap. Earthy. Earthy. Sort of. Hey, hey, hey. It's a, it's a deeper red as well. I don't know if you've noticed that. I can, yeah, no. It's like thicker. I know that's not a word you should use. No, no, if you hold that up to the teapot though, yeah. like that is definitely a thicker wine. Totally, yeah. And also like, we're, we're an inclusive community, man. You say what you want about Yeah, wine, thank you. Matter. This is a thick wine. Yeah, thick. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, a bit oaky. Yep. An oaky varnish. <laughs> <laughs> well done, winemaker. Put that on the form. And let's see if this one has the, the little lines and how many it has. That's Cashmere Willow. Yeah, it's got some lines. Yeah. Quite a lot. I think this could be the bougie shit. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Wow. There's a lot to it. There's way There's more a lot to, to it unpack. than this one, yeah. hey? 
So then now your brain has to go, do people want a lot of shit going on in their mouth? Is that what's expensive? Is that what's expensive? Or is less? Because that one was, see, I prefer this one, the lighter, less shit going on. I can see that. But I could see how this might be the, the one. God, it's so hard. Like I'm so close, but yet so far, you know. But there's, you're, there's... you're absolutely decided this is the cheap one, right? <laughs> it would be so funny if it's not. I but really, yeah, really, I am. really hope I'm, it's not. I'm 100% sure that's the cheap one. See the color of it? Yeah. See how it's kind of like almost orange? Yeah. You like, see that on the top? For me, that but for me that feels cheap. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it's fucking red wine, but it's got a bit of orange in it. That feels a bit cheap. They didn't quite get the color right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's I think right it's there nice. in the name. It's nice, but yeah, they they forgot to add the color. Now I should mention, mate, if you do if you do get this right. You do get the opportunity to wear a very, very luxurious oh crown. So that's what's at stake. So that, Just before you lock your final answer, don't put it on. So you I don't become the king. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. king of wine tasting. Yeah, wow. Well, I've worn that hat once, and it was because I accurately guessed Chardonnay, and Chardonnay is the most obvious wine yeah. wine you can get. <laughs> if I don't want to take words out of your mouth, but to summarise here, I think we've got water that has a little bit of like rust in it. Yeah, four dollar water. We've got. Someone who's thrown all of the ingredients in the pot and come out with something that's pretty interesting. Yep. And then we've got a deft hand that's created something for people like us who enjoy the finer things. Totally. This person knows what they're doing. They've been making wine for a long time and they know, yeah. All right, cool. Lockie, for the very first time, what is wine number or the coffee pot? Oh no. Oh fuck. <laughs> that's the expensive one. <laughs> <laughs> I was, no, because like the You're thing kidding, is, kidding, lucky. It's what the expensive fuck? one. Are you fucking kidding? Even me? the shape of the bottle and shit. I've like never seen a wine bottle so beautiful. Likes it. <laughs> so this is this is from. You're so see joking. up here how it says uh, French expression bastards. original de talk. To, so this is from the Bordeaux region of France, which is one of the You're best known wine kidding. regions. Hold on a second. That is. I can't believe that. You've got to be kidding me, lucky. That's. Lapoy extends around a megalithic circle dating from the Bronze Age. No wonder it tastes shit. It's too <laughs> old, mate. Without chaptalization, fining, or filtration. Yeah, see, I think they should have filtered it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mistake. I wish we had an expert in. I'd love to know if they had, if we'd tasted it with them, if they would have said, like, that's the good one. 20 minutes later. I'm gonna grab the, uh, the French press over here. So I would suggest, if I were to say what the good, bad and the ugly was here, I'd say that's the good, uh, that's the moderate to bad, <laughs> that's the fucking ugly. Let's go, the, let's go this, let's go the middle. Yep. The Lucky, middle. for the very first time. Surely. The $4 one. Is this the $4 bottle of wine? It is the $30 bottle of wine, ladies and gentlemen, which means that everyone's favourite wine on the show today Fuck was, me. of course, available from your local BWS and is $4 a bottle. That's incredible. My dad was a fucking winemaker. That is so sad. <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't understand. Like, this is, it's subtle, it's its cheeky, it's so lovely. It's playful. It's the Riverside Landing Cab Merlot 2021. Yeah, you notice how there's nothing that says where it's from? Yeah, because this is just yeah. fucking wine it's of Australia. Bullshit. It's just yeah, grapes yeah, yeah, that you can yeah. find lying yeah. around. Totally. And totally. makes them, as it turns out, Tasty, tasty grape juice. And that's yeah. the Langhorn Creek one. This is the Langhorn Creek one. Yeah, I couldn't get anything from Bleasdale this morning, unfortunately. Mm. You would have nailed that. Obviously. <laughs> it goes without saying that Lewis knows a Bleasdale I mean, from fuck. anything else. Yeah, so the, the Langhorn Creek one, the one that was had so much going Heat's on. Heat's going on, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can tell. Like, listen to this. <laughs> and no wonder we thought it was shit. Listen to this. Flavours of black cherry, berries, plum, and chocolate with hints of herbs and oh so soft tannins. Like, when are you going to put your herbs in with your your plums and your chocolate like this is a stupid combination it's a weird you know? christmas it's weird christmas cake exactly yeah it's like there's too much going on 
Mm. But this one, simplicity. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's cool. that was it's beautiful. The riverside landing. If you ever get a chance, buy this one. <laughs> this is, that is a gorgeous drop. That is that's stunning. So you know? what what have we learned today? It's it there's two ways to look at it. Yeah. There's and the the two ways to look at it would be the, there's option A, which is that I'm an idiot and I don't get it and I, I'm so dumb, I don't understand the complexities of it. Or option B, which I would lean towards, which is that it's all bullshit. <laughs> and anytime anyone tries to tell you that it's not, they're lying. It's all bullshit. They all taste fine, but the $4 one is the best. And yeah, it, it's all bullshit. I'm not gonna lie, this is this has gone so much better than I thought it was going to. I thought it was gonna be really easy to tell them apart. Uh, well, yeah, I thought it was gonna nail all of them, but yeah, I think I think it's just all nonsense. Like the guy in you know in the restaurant with the Magella, and he's like, "See, they're worlds apart." Like, no, they're not. It's all bullshit. Well, th thank you so much for being on the first episode. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I was getting blind. Oh, I had so much fun. This is yeah. This is, anytime you want to have me back. I am Kane. But yeah, thanks uh, Thanks very much for watching this first episode of a new series, guys. If you're into it, comment. If you're not, don't. Follow me on social media. Yeah, I'm look, trying to actually plug yourself. I'm trying to be better at like plugging myself. Yeah, it's, dude. You know, it's an online world now. I don't... Um, I've, well, I've got a YouTube channel with like clips of me doing stand-up comedy, um, Lewis Garnham, and then on Instagram and TikTok, it's Lou Garnham, L-E-W-G-A-R-N-H-A-M. <laughs> yeah, fucking oath, man. Sick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Try to connect to the youth. So yeah, get on there. Get, yeah, give me a give me a tweet on the talk or whatever the fuck you do. You are down, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, absolutely go follow him. Also, I don't know how quickly we're going to turn this uh, video edit around, but you've got shows going on. You've got so Adelaide Fringe going on at the moment, obviously. But... I got, yeah, well, I got Adelaide Fringe at the moment. I don't know if this will turn around quickly enough for that, but doing shows in Adelaide this week and then uh, Gold Coast Comedy Festival in March of 2022. So come to that if you're in the Gold Coast. If you're watching this in 2027 after we've blown up, sorry you yeah, missed that show. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, it was great. It was yeah. fucking amazing. Honestly, um, everyone loved it. Uh, Melbourne Comedy Festival. There's a whole month of shows. If you're in Melbourne, come to that. And then Sydney Comedy Festival and Brisbane Comedy Festival after that in like May. Uh, and I have two podcasts, which you should listen to. One of them is called Can I Borrow Your Mind? And one of them is called Good Graph, where me and my friend, we talk about graffiti we've seen in public toilets. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Definitely give Lewis a follow. He's a fucking funny bloke and he knows his wines inside and out. Of oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, we'll see you next time.